Well, in Russia, there's no gay. I'm straight, I'm fine. But can I touch your boobs? Because I know it's <laughs> fake. So all I was hearing, like, poo, 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 poo. We're going to talk about life in London and Russia. Let's get started. What was the biggest challenge in moving to London and the things you found completely different from Russia, your home country? The most challenging part of living in London for me was loneliness. Because I came there alone, I had no job, I had no place to live. Mm -hmm. And that's why I boyfriended the first guy who was kind to me <laughs> over there. And I dated him for three years, actually. There's no uh, love or anything, but it was good partnership, mm -hmm. though. I don't do that anymore. And what about the things you found completely different from your home country? Food, culture, people, maybe in Russia, the people are more rude. They don't smile a lot. Like, oh, yeah, I love you. Like, people oh. used to tell me that I'm rude. It's all because of... Uh, accent i guess where have you been i have given you clear directions <laughs> mama make borscht hot guests are here now and uh, uh, stereotypes as well like i do smile when i find something funny or i like you if i don't know you why yeah, should i, I think... smile at you when i moved back to russia to visit my friends i took a cup i was talking to the driver hi how was your day and uh, being friendly as i used to in mm -hmm. uk and at the end of the uh, trip he told me at the beginning, I actually saw that you are from some sort of uh, sector. <laughs> Church of Blue Flames. <laughs> yes. When you see things like this, pandemonium, I mean, hysteria, altered states of consciousness, people acting insane. People normally not that friendly. The other difference that surprised me a lot in UK, in London in particular, they like chit chat. When you meet someone, you just talk about nothing. Usually it's the weather, it's the breakfast you had or anything else. We don't do that in Russia. If we ask you, how are you? We really, we really want to know how are you? And then you tell them. And I had the weirdest conversation ever with my colleague. She went to the loo, she came back and she told me, everything about what happened so all i was hearing like poo 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 i've done this it was the color the <laughs> texture how difficult it was and how many times and the sounds and everything and that was really weird anything else everybody heard about the double taps in the sink how would you use it i never figured it out here's the boiling water here's the ice water how do you wash your your hands yeah. if someone knows please share in comments below under this video thank you other differences make up uh, British girls oh my god they bake it the lashes up here the eyebrows starts here and ends over here mm -hmm. everything lots of lots of makeup and especially when they go out or oh, other thing in winter everything open short dresses no tights open uh, shoes when it's like zero degrees when everything's gonna be open I'm gonna do the same here because now I know you don't need tights when you go out Let's move to the next one. Three worst things you don't like in uh, Russia and England. In UK, winter is so rainy, you don't have snow. In Wales, for example, where I used to live, it was raining constantly from November till April, non-stop. We had mm. 10 days of sun maximum during the winter. We had three floods during last winter. Our city was flooded. We were lucky our house was on a, on a hill, but we had uh, waterfalls on the walls. That was fun. <laughs> the food, I mentioned that already, it's a bit tasteless. The other thing I don't like the most, the life is so expensive over there. It's impossible to buy property. Did you see the prices? And if you live far away in a nice house, you have to travel. You know, it's actually you have to pay every time you enter London, center London now. Mm -hmm. So imagine how expensive yeah, it is. Yeah, it's very, very expensive, yeah. Three things you don't like about Russia. It's really difficult to travel. To go abroad, you need visas, most of the countries, and uh, people also not really keen to do so. So they travel to Turkey, to uh, Egypt, 
just to lay on the beach, have some sun, drink to death, and that's it. <laughs> Russia is beautiful country, rivers, seas, uh, mountains, and people don't really go around because it's huge. It's uh, obviously it's expensive to go somewhere on the other side of the country and see Kamchatka, for example, which is amazing. I wish that would be much easier for people mm. to travel. It looks like they stuck in one city and uh, they just live there. I haven't been in many cities over there, just in my area. And when I left Russia, I traveled all over the Europe. I do love Russia, from far away. I'm okay here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move to the next one. Gay culture in UK and Russia. Well, in Russia, there's no gay. No? I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> it's a huge stereotype because the propaganda there is uh, prohibited. Obviously, but gay people, they, they exist. You can be gay in Russia, but you can't show it. Mm -hmm. You can't go uh, with your boyfriend on the streets and hold hands. Well, you can, but Dangerous. there's a chance that you're going to be beaten up. But obviously, in Moscow, it's much, much easier. But in a smaller uh, towns, like if you're gay, you've got to hide. And that's, that's a little bit sad, to be honest. I have many friends who is gay over here. And I had a colleague who used to wear makeup that was better than mine. I wanted to go to the toilet and wash my <laughs> my makeup off because it's not worth it. Absolutely. My uh, my fiance was picked up by a gay on, in a club as well <laughs> many times. But he didn't have any problems with that. He just like, I'm straight, I'm fine. But can I touch your boobs? Because I know it's fake. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Let's move to next one. Suggestions for those who want to move abroad but don't know where to start. First of all, congratulations if you made this decision. That's already brave. Uh, second, you'll need money as much as possible, seriously. Uh, third, you need to at least to know just at least a little bit of the language of the country that you're moving to. Or be ready to, to learn it and be ready to, uh, down, to be downshifted. A lot. Nobody is waiting for you here. It is going to be hard. Check also the documents. Make sure you are legal there. Make sure you can open bank account. You have to learn fast, uh, but I can promise you it's going to be so interesting. It's totally worth it. You will never regret this decision, especially if you can settle there. And good luck, really. Just say that you are a strong person. Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. go for it, definitely. And if you can do it, why not? For those who are considering moving to UK, would you suggest a big or small city and why? Definitely depends what you're looking for. Quick money, just go to small town, focus on a job and don't spend much. If you want a bright life, you want to experience more, definitely London. Don't go for Cardiff, don't go for any other. They, they're nice to visit, to see, but not to live. All the life, everything is happening in London. And it's much, much easier as well because it's an international town. You can find uh, uh, Russian-speaking people, you can find your own community everywhere. London is full of opportunities. If you have that uh, thing in you, that drive, London is the town for you, that's mm -hmm. for sure. But you have to work constantly, work inside with your brains, with not just on the fabric. Homeless people in Russia and UK, personal choice or tragedy? I think it's a tragedy that they had made this choice don't have much experience with them in russia i can see them on the streets they're everywhere of course in every town but not not like flooded with them of course they drink they ask for money quietly versus uh, cardiff for example where i used to be for a little bit in the middle of uh, town where the shopping center is they put tents they have parties because somehow they constantly get drugs. Probably they choose this kind of life and just enjoy it, live one day. I used to work in that shopping center. There was no a day when somebody would come to me and ask me for money, for a cigarette. Constant fun and interactions with homeless people over there. Ooh, the government do, do, do nothing about these people. They do. They give them shelter, they give them food and they give them uh, drugs. Because they're really addicted, they can't live without it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any, any suggestions for people who are scared to move abroad? Can you encourage them? Don't be scared. 
Just do it. It's not as scary as you think. Find resources, money, friends, whoever is living there and go for it, do it. Just try it, try it, you will love it. Thank you very much guys for watching our video. Please put like, dislike and comment below if you'd like to move to Kaonova country. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, pressing the notification bell and I'm going to see you next week. Mwah! in the cube uh, uh, well still I don't think it's really appropriate even for uh, straight couples to express their feelings in public. <laughs>